Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing five healthy habits that I've implemented in my life over the past couple of months that I feel has changed my mood, my body, my spirits, and I just feel so, so, so good. So I wanted to share those five things with you guys. So I know it is super difficult sometimes to implement healthy living in your lifestyle because a lot of us are super busy. We just don't have the time to do it. Some of us don't have the discipline to do it, but I wanted to share these five things. I feel like they're super easy to implement in your routine, in your daily lives, and I hope you guys find some type of benefit to the tips that I am going to be sharing. So, so the first thing that I've implemented in my life over the past few months is an act of gratitude or an attitude of gratitude. Just being thankful for all that I have. I was reading this book called The Secret. It talks about like the law of attraction and manifestations and things like that. And one of the chapters focused on gratitude, being thankful for what you have, all that you are. And I remember in an excerpt in that book, it talks about one of the particular persons in the book, how whenever he would put his feet on the floor, every time he put one foot on the floor, he said, thank you. And the other foot on the floor, he said, thank you. Because guess what? He has legs, they are working. So for me in the mornings when I wake up, I find something to be thankful for. Right now in my life, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my home. I'm thankful for my career. I'm thankful for peace of mind, you guys. I'm thankful for joy in my heart. So I focus on those things and I don't focus on what I may not have, right? Because I feel like at this point in my life, if I don't have it, I don't need it. And that's completely fine. And also if I need it, I have breath in my body, I can go work to attain it. I also like to read first thing in the morning. What I've realized that has done for me is I'm able to feed my mind with positive things early on in the morning. I feel like that aligns with the attitude of gratitude because if I'm feeding my mind inspirational things and positive things, then what's gonna happen, I'm gonna be thankful that I'm able to attain those things sometime in the future. So number one, attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for what it is that you have. Be content in what it is that you have. And if there's something in your life that you feel like you need, be thankful that you have breath in your body and you can go out there and you can attain it, okay? So that's number one. So number two is getting some sunlight and fresh air, you guys. When you wake up in the morning, I'm telling you, y'all, this is a game changer. Getting outside, getting that sunlight, getting that fresh air. There are so many studies that's out there that show that getting adequate sunlight and getting fresh air in the mornings, it helps to boost like your serotonin levels, which um, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that affects your mood. So it helps to elevate your mood, puts you in better spirit. It also helps with immune function and things like that. Thankfully for me, I have a little dog. Y'all know I have my baby Belle. So usually we go take a walk first thing in the morning. So after I do my attitude of gratitude and I read my books on gratitude and I thank God for being alive, I usually take her outside. So what I do is I usually just wash my face, um, brush my teeth, put on my clothes, take her outside for a walk. That way I can get some fresh air, some sunlight, and I can also get some exercise like at the end of the day I've been sleeping for eight hours I've had limited movement it is now time for me to go outside for at least 15 minutes and just get some of that sunlight fresh air and move my body a little bit so the third thing that I've been doing over the past few months is my self-care routine you guys when I tell you every single morning I do my self-care routine which is I do my whole morning skincare routine I do a whole body routine every single morning. I make sure I wake up on time to give myself adequate time to take care of my body. It's funny because I was talking to my mom this weekend and I was telling her like, do you notice that I don't even rush anymore? I don't rush for anything, you guys. I give myself adequate time to take care of my body. So in the mornings when I wake up, after I walk my dog, usually I sweat a little bit. So I come back in the house, I wash my face, I do my moisturizer, my serum, eye cream, the whole shebang. I hop in the shower. I take me a nice cool shower to clean my body. I lotion my skin and I just really take time to just take care of myself. It's just such a good feeling to know that you're pampering yourself and it just always makes me feel better when I know that 
I'm clean. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but when I know that I am clean, honey, I'm fresh all up in there, armpits fresh, breath fresh, I feel better and I am ready, you know, to pretty much tackle my day. Um, so number four, as far as what I've been doing over the past few months that I feel has changed the way that I feel about myself, you guys, is eating breakfast. How many of y'all run out the door every morning and don't eat nothing? I'll wait. I know it's you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Every single morning, you guys, I make sure that I eat an adequate breakfast, you guys. I usually like to do eggs with a little bit of sauteed spinach, a fruit, and a carb. Y'all, I try to eat as balanced of a diet as possible. I used to be on the fad where I would cut out carbs and cut out this and cut out that. No. My body needs it all. <laughs> so I make sure that I eat adequate breakfast every single morning. At the end of the day, your body has been fasting all night. Your body has been repairing itself all night. It is now time for you to replenish your body in the mornings. Make sure you're having a balanced breakfast. And also you guys, make sure you're drinking your water. Make sure you're drinking your water. It is so pivotal to wake up and drink your water. I know a lot of people, you know, when they wake up first thing, they chug water down. Y'all, I can't do that. I can't do that. I know a lot of people come on here, but how can you do that and you ain't brush your teeth yet? I just can't do that. So usually after like I brush my teeth and I do my self care, then I'm able to go ahead and drink some water. So yeah, number four y'all is making sure y'all eat an adequate breakfast and also drink your water. And number five, last but not least you guys, is making sure that you are taking your supplements. So I am not a doctor, you guys. I got a master's, <laughs> but I am not a doctor. And right after I completed my master's degree, I was actually working for a supplement company and I learned about supplements. And it's crazy, like thinking back, at that time, I was in the best health of my life. When I tell you I was so fit, my hair was thriving, my mood was at an all time high because I was taking like different supplements. And to be honest, at this point in my life, Life, I prefer to take supplements compared to me taking conventional medications to you know target whatever it is that's going on in my body so yeah guys right now I am currently taking seven supplements and I know that may sound super excessive but I feel like they have really helped with just my mood also my digestion also uh, my energy levels so I'm definitely 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 happy that I've been implementing my supplements back into my regimen so I'm gonna go through all the supplements that I take so the first one that I'm grabbing here is my ashwagandha so this is supposed to help with stress and mood support for some reason over the past like couple of weeks granted there you know there's always something going on behind the scenes but I've been a little bit you know not my best and i've been taking these you guys and they have helped a lot with just my mood a lot with my feelings um I, I just love it and also it's crazy because after taking this i lost like eight pounds i did and you know i know that could be because of like my diet and as i said i'm eating healthier but literally the week after i started taking the ashwagandha you guys i literally started losing weight and when i looked up ashwagandha and weight loss they did say this does have weight loss properties in it so you know just a little tip for you guys but yeah this is what i take ashwagandha i also take magnesium oh magnesium citrate this also helps with mood as well making sure your mood and your nervous system is functioning properly this also helps with energy support it also helps with digestion as well so i just take this one right here i take it in the mornings and then I take my slow release iron. I've been taking iron since I was 10 years old. So this is something that I never stopped taking. I do take the slow release iron though because my stomach does hurt whenever I take regular iron. And this is because I'm anemic. In my period panties video, I told you guys that I do have a heavy flow. So that is why I have to take this and I'm pretty much sure I have to take this until, you know, the next 20 years until menopause comes so yeah next supplement that i take is my vitamin b complex you guys with vitamin c and zinc and this really helps with energy the only downside to this is that your pee is going to be neon yellow slash neon green because of the riboflavin which is the vitamin what is that vitamin b2 so you guys this helps so much with energy to the point where i would suggest for you to take maybe a half of a tablet because when i take these you guys i'm literally up all day 
all night. It gives me so much energy. So yeah, I take my vitamin B complex. I also take my vitamin D3. If you are black and you're not taking this baby, what are you doing? This helps so much with strong bones and providing immune support. Anybody that knows me knows I do not get sick. It's just not something that happens to me. And when I do get a little cold here and there, it's usually like every five years. Like I'm so blessed when it comes to that. And it's crazy because this past January, I did a CB panel and I want to say like two days after I did the CBC panel I actually got sick and I was really shook my results for my CBC panel came and guess what was low my vitamin D was low so yeah y'all I consistently 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 take this especially now that we're going into the winter months it's very important to make sure that you are taking your vitamin D supplements. I also take black seed oil. This supports immune functions, digestion, and joints. I take this more so for um, inflammation within the body. As you guys know, inflammation is linked to a lot of diseases. So I like to take black seed oil because it has been shown to be kind of like a super supplement when it comes to really helping with ailments in the body. I know curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric, is also super beneficial for um, inflammation. But right now I'm taking the black seed oil. And then last but not least, you guys, I'm taking digestive enzymes. This also has some probiotics in there as well. So um, I take digestive enzymes because I usually do have digestive issues as far as like bloating in my stomach or or a lot of tummy aches and things like that after I eat. So when I take the digestive enzymes, it releases the enzymes and really break down my food. Yeah, so whenever I eat, you guys, I make sure I take this. I take this three times a day. So I only take this before my big meals. So if I have my breakfast, I take this before. If I have lunch, I take this before. And before dinner, I take one of these. So I only take upwards of three of these per day. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it may come across as difficult to implement all of these changes into your lifestyle you guys but just start with one of the tips you guys you don't have to do all five just start with one and you will see that you will start to feel a whole lot better okay thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye